Hi guys, it's Emily with Farmhouse Crafter. I saw this project from another designer who's been with the company from the beginning and I was so excited because I literally had all of the product to make this project. I was just still in my Halloween headspace, but Ken posting this gave me the Christmas bug too. So this is a 18 inch pine round um, tabletop actually from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. You can get them, they range between seven to about 12 to $13. Pretty easy to find. Then I took the um, charcoal chalk paint and then just painted it, put on um, a couple of layers. You'll see that I'm drying it along the way. I'll lift it up and I'll get the edges and I'll dry that as I'm going. I have no problems in getting paint on myself. I love the whole um, chalking and painting and stain and makes my husband kind of nuts to get it on his hands and stuff, but I, I like it. You know, I love our I love our company with Chalk Couture. I'm so thankful for our family of designers there, because the um, the heart of each person there is so genuine, and you can see the desire for each and every person there to teach and to share with everyone. And it's it's just a, a great company and a great group of people. It's fantastic. And there's the first coat and you'll see here in a second I'm going to pop on a, a second coat of, of paint I should have shown you the uh, brand that I use I think it's Rust-Oleum actually All right here comes in the red and I um, I just want to give a decent covering but a distressed covering so I'm just gonna somewhat dry brush this across so I'm gonna kind of dip and then um, kind of dab off the edges so my son handed me a paper plate so I can kind of make sure I didn't have too much on the brush I'm not too worried about getting the sides this time because it's not really going to show. What I do want to make sure is that this stays um, distressed and not like really clean coverage with the red. I really debated actually at this point in time if I wanted to sand it to, to roughen it up, but I decided not to. You saw there that I had some perfect pearls. Um, I actually just mixed that in water and made my own uh, solution with it. You can actually buy Perfect Pearls in, in many colors in smaller bottles, um, but you can actually also buy the powder and make your own. So I have a, a huge water bottle of the Perfect Pearls. and you, I just kind of spritzed it on the, the board and um, because I'm impatient and I wanted it to dry, I went ahead and took the, the hair dryer and dried it again. And then right here, I'm just kind of kind of soaking up any of the bigger spots because with the hair dryer, I didn't want it to blow the um, water or the perfect pearls and giving it long, um, long streaks. I just kind of wanted to stay in like the, like it had been rained on kind of look. You can kind of see, so it kind of looks 
shimmery but rained on so weathered of sorts I'm getting the buffalo plaid transfer label the back so you know which side to um, return your transfer to Now this one was a brand new one um, as I make these I'm, I'm kind of excited because I want them to become a little more distressed I will make and sell these I, I love the board I love the way it turned out I am um, super excited about it So this is really going to be um, quite a perfect fit. So I'm just going to center it, kind of press it down. Now what I like about this board is it has some knot holes in it and so it's not going to look perfect. There's going to be some really distressed places there. When I first did this, I did not put on enough of the chalk and, and really there's no need to be uh, stingy with it because you can always put it right back into the jar. So then I had to go back over and um, put some more out on the transfer. And I'm just going from the center of this transfer and you can see right there in the center there's a little knot hole that I keep going to and then pulling away from. Which at this point in time I was kind of hoping it would give me more of a distress with this buffalo plaid and it, it does but it does it better at the end with the words I'm just gonna scoop this up and put it right back in my jar Of course, I'm going to dry it again. Got the patience of a gnat. I like it to be done right away. All right, so here comes the next transfer, the North Pole bed and breakfast. Enough times I put an arrow um, as to which way um, was the top side of the transfer. On these, when they're this size, it doesn't really matter. It's it's really more important when you are you're having to cut your transfer apart. But when it's this size, it doesn't really matter. But it's become such a habit that I just automatically do it. You can tell my Chuck Tord Fuzz and Claw is well loved, well used. We have brand new transfer, so you can see how sticky it is. over kind of position it wherever you want it and where I didn't get enough black the last time I got plenty of white this time but this time I'm using the um, just a smaller scraper
You can see right where that A is at, the A and the N, under the and, that's right at that knot hole. So that's where that, um, it's gonna be a little more distressed there. And I, I'm loving it. I wish it had more places like that in this board. Yeah, just pointed that out. I was telling my son that I hope uh, next time I have a board that has more of those spots there that does that naturally, but if not, I may actually ding the board up a little bit more. Brand new transfer. So you don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to mess up the transfer and get it lopsided. You want to be able to use it again and again. There it is. I ended up hanging. Um, twine on the back using a staple gun and then my um, chambray ribbon it's actually denim ribbon from an old pair of jeans that we sliced up thanks a bunch have a great day